before you leave the video let me just tell you one thing yes these knowledge examples and wisdom of projection will work in every broker in every market in the live market even in the otc market of every broker so you don't have to leave this video just because this isn't your favorite broker so in this video i'm going to trade in the live market and i'm going to share my analysis with you guys so that you can improve your strategy and learn from the projection that i'm going to use and and for those of you who don't know that i only trade with price action i don't use any indicator i don't use any pattern i just follow price action so after watching this video you will be a better trader and you will have better knowledge on price action let's get started so i'll just enter for a three minute trade in here um i entered this trade because as you guys can see we were in a sideways market in here but but then the market went up down again up down again and then it broke the structure and it went down because we had fvg in here let, let me just type it for you guys FG, because we had fvg in here and after that it came back you can also call this thing a liquidity grab but but after that the market came back and then we had a little bit of retracement and then market went up and as you guys can see if i draw a trend line in here um you you can see that the market bounced back from here and then and that's why i entered my trade in here so we will just see how does it go so if you guys don't know what an fvg is so let me just give you guys an example as you guys can see in here we have a candle so as you guys can see this area is the previous candles wick and the and this is the newest candles high so this space between these candle is known as the fvg until a candle comes here and and closes here or put a wick in here until then it's an unmitigated fvg uh, fvg is also known as fair value gap or an imbalance so yeah now you know what an fvg is and how it works so as you guys can see we have won our first trade and let me just explain you guys better in the whiteboard so as you guys can see if i draw some candles in here so this is a candle number one this is a key candle number two and this is a candle number three okay so if we draw some wicks in here like this and this and this okay so now from this candles wick to this candles wick this much area is known as fvg because it's a fair value gap because it's an imbalance in the pricing and it's an inefficient pricing because as you guys can see this candles wick ended here and this candles wick ended here but this gap is still unmitigated and this is an unmitigated fvg so now i hope that you guys understand what i mean by fvg whenever i say what what an fvg is so now we will just look for another trade so as you guys can see it just broke this level in here as you guys can see so as you guys can see uh, we had a little bit of retracement from this area i think the market can go till here and after that it, it will come down and break and break the support area from here so let's see how does it go so we will ju just wait wait for the market movement so as you guys can see i've entered another trade with the marginal safety up there because there was a last fvg in here so yeah the market can reverse from here as well now we are in a discount zone so if we go from here to here we now we are in a discount zone for the sellers so there so there are going to be more sellers now as i said there are going to be more sellers up there because this was the last fvg and now it's in a discount zone so if we so if we calculate this area and if we 
see it's the 50 percent so as you guys can see this area would have been the 50 percent of this area so this area will be known as the premium zone and this area would be known as the discount zone and this one is the premium zone that's why we entered a trade with the marginal safety here now let's see how does it go so i just placed my first trade because of the FOMO fear of missing out that's why i placed my first trade but my second trade was perfect and that's why we won our second trade and now we will just look for other trades so i'll just go for a one minute up from here because it, it's not it, it's not price action it's just like intuition B because trading is more like an art to me it's not like a rocket science that i can prove to you that this is correct it's more like an art to me it's in my subconscious mind that i need to enter here or i should enter here so that's why i've placed the trade in here and if you guys w w want to know why i entered because um the market is in a kind of uptrend and in a little bit of sideways so there is a high probability the market can go up from here as i said it's not like science it's it's more like an art to me so i sometimes i just know that the market is gonna go up from there it's in my subconscious mind so i i cannot like explain it 100 percent to you guys i mean you can call it experience i guess so as you guys can see we have like some zones in here so this one would be our first zone and i will just enter so i've entered in here because as i said we have some zones in here so as you guys can see it's in the first zone if it breaks th this zone we have an another zone in here and after that we have a third zone in here so it can easily reverse from one of these zones so i've just entered the train in here so let's see how does it go as i said we had our first zone here and that's why i entered in here and it's and it and it's going pretty well because as you guys can see the, 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 the market is moving up and we had an fvg in here and this candle is trying to cover up the fvg and that and yeah we won another trade we will just i mean it's in an uptrend and i don't want to place a down trade because there's like literally no levels and the market is a super choppy one so i don't want to risk my money but it also has a one minute clock option in this market you know what you can do when you see a long as candle like this one you can just enter for an opposite direction but you can also be in wrong in here because you you guys can have a candle like these so you don't don't want to enter yeah like see so you don't want to enter in these kind of market because these kind of market are like super risky it, it can easily break this one but I think then the next candle will be an up candle because because th this one is this one is a little too long and I think the next the next candle is is gonna be a green one so that's why I've entered our trade because the next candle is gonna cover up the FVG that it has created the FVG is from here to here so as you guys can see it it was a little too long candle so as you guys can see. It was a little too long candle and the next candle had to cover up the FVG and no this wasn't a momentum candle and I know that because I know that because 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 there was no liquidity grab in this chart and it doesn't have a lot of liquidity because as you guys can see in here it doesn't have a lot of li liquidity in the market and there was no liquidity grab to um to keep continuing the, the uh, to keep continuing the momentum so that's why i took a green trade so as you guys can see it was a close one but we won anyways so as you guys can see we are back in this pattern so we can just enter for a three minute trade because um this was a good uh i would say a decent entry point so as you guys can see 
um, our trend line was like that and it touched it a little bit and then we had some FVG in here uh, and some uncovered FVG and that's why the market is going down and we are in a slightly um, how would you say that in a range I would say because we have lower lows again and again as you guys can see here lower highs lower lows this one was lower low and like this so as you guys can see we are making lower highs and that's why I haven't I think it can easily go down and we can win this trade as well so we will just wait and see how does it go so as you guys can see it's it's going pretty well so we'll just wait for the trade to end and then we will look for another trade and some people ask me why I place trades of three minutes I mean because I think three minutes is a decent time expiration time for you to win the trade so that's why I like three minutes if you don't like three minutes you, you can use five minutes four minutes 3.30 seconds whatever you like but it's, it, it's just my personal preference and my experience that three minutes work the best in one minute time frame because in this video I taught you guys about the FVG price action discount area and some basic support and resistance level and some engulfing candle probably um i don't think that the candle pattern and the candle reaction actually work but it's just better to know about them you know so if you want me to give you a signal like these as i've shown in this video and you want to trade on that and just want to make money or you want or you want to copy trade me on the broker you can join our telegram group link in the description and if you have any doubts regarding price action any strategy or if you want to improve your strategy and if you have any questions you can always dm me in the telegram link in the description and if you want to see more examples of price action so that you can improve your strategy and and be a better trader you can check out this video in this video I've shared some useful insights with you guys and more examples are waiting for you. I'll see you in the next video.